both guys. A back and forth battle. Crowd loves it. The ebb and flow. It's still early in this match. Fight move. Head. If he doesn't move it, dangerous. Campbell dangerous. will move it. Talk about high stakes poker against a guy with this kind of punching power. Dangerous. Campbell starts off driving Peden into the ring post. The other thing is Campbell at that throwing one punch at a time, two punches at a time, not really putting his punches together. Peden may feel that he can see the punches coming. Yeah, actually, and that's why I gave that last round to Peden. I just thought he was a little bit busier. Oh, don't, don't, don't grab, don't grab, stop. stop it. You have a 29, 28 for Robbie Peden, as do I. We so agree. I, 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 I thought Peden won that last oh, round. Come on, put them on, bring him up under. We expected a rough fight. Come on, back, Rob. Come on. Come on. Nothing back, Rob. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Right he's hand by Campbell. I think he's, he's, he's right going hand to the body by Campbell. That one missed. Robbie, take your three down. Robbie needs to go to the body a little bit more early. He's just trying to man him. Let him go. Let him go. Come on, break, break, break. break. Okay. Robbie, you got to flex and swing the gloves, baby. That's it. Again, Peyton hands at his side. Let's go to Sean O'Grady right now, who's with Roger Bloodworth, Sean. The other one, and uh, he needs to be throwing more punches, but I think he thinks he's letting Nate punch himself out because Nate doesn't seem to be hurting him, and he's missing him a lot. So I know that Robbie can keep up this kind of attack. Can Nate? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. What are you going to try to get Robbie doing at the end of this round? I want him to bring more punches up underneath. You know, Nate's using elbows. I want him to bring more punches up underneath. Under and over? But he just got a warning for... for no, that was Nate. Moment. That was Nate. Okay. Under and over, you mean? Under. When Nate bends over, bring the punches up under, you know? And make him pay on the inside. Oh, that is just tough. Tough. This is a real fight, you guys. It is that. And Campbell, I think, perhaps getting a little better of it in this round. Even again, his concentration seems to, seems to, uh, there's ebb and flow there, let's put it that way, in terms of his uh, discipline and his concentration by the middle of the fight. He does not fight with the same focus and energy consistently in each round. Yeah, I think he's got a little cute in this round. Counter right hand from Campbell came right over the right hand of Pete, and there's a combination from Campbell. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Well, this could be a fight of attrition. Much better round for Campbell. Again, right to the head, right to the body. Campbell was having good success earlier, digging those right uppercuts to the body. He's gotten away from it a little bit. Coming to the end of round number four. That's the way I got it. Great minds, huh? Heaton keeps his head in the middle when he loses that focus. He, he reacts to punches and tries to avoid them with upper body movement. But when this, when he's not doing that, his head's just kind of hanging in the middle. Campbell's starting to load up a little bit, I think. I work your way out. Right here, maybe five. OK, stop, 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 stop. Clean up over here, huh? Sean O'Grady now is in Nate Campbell's corner with John David Jackson, former champion himself, guy who knows from whence he speaks, Sean. Oh, a great fighter himself, John David Jackson, knows what it's like in the trenches. This is a, oh, 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 maybe turning, up, Nate Campbell maybe may turning the tide in this fight. How long can he keep up this kind of torrid pace? Even that Nate, with Nate's, uh, you know, his heart is so tremendous, and he is, we've been running, I've been running with him every day, making sure that he's on the road. Uh, he can go like this for 12. It may slow down a little bit, but this, this type of intensity, he can keep for 12 rounds. That's how bad he wants this fight. I know it's a very important fight for him. What is his strategy in this fight? He knew it was going to be a brawl on the inside. Does he want to rip stop, the uppercut? Stop, stop. Does he want to go to the body? Where, where, where is he now? He definitely wants to stay in the body. You know the body is his bread and butter. Uh, in, in the first two rounds, Robbie kind of... Uh, oh, this, Robbie kind of... Well here. Robbie kind of um, tried to switch up with boxing. That, that body. Robbie hurt? He's very much hurt. He's hurt. And they, Nate, Nate's fighting like you used to show us. That's well, it. Nate is great tonight. How about that? And Max, he had a terrific uppercut right there, and he's really dishing out right now. Nate Campbell's stop, 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 stop. power, his punching power, especially in the right hand, is starting to impose itself on this fight from Robbie Peden. He has slowed oh, Peden that up. body shot. shot to the body. What a body shot. Peden is in If Campbell trouble. goes back down to the body, this fight will end. 
What a body. He may have broken a rib. That was a savage right uppercut. That's exactly the punch he was talking to us about. A shot to the liver, he said, was his best punch. He said, you just can't recover from it. And I'm not sure Peden has yet. He was talking about the left hook. That was the right uppercut. As I said, he gotten away from throwing that punch a little bit. He goes back down there. I don't know if he knows how bad Peden is hurt right now. I mean, he just straightened Peden right up with that shot. of the chin oh it was more like a three a three-quarter uppercut hook one of those 45 degree angle jobs vicious it doesn't matter who you are just because you're nate campbell or muhammad ali for that matter it doesn't matter who you are you stand up with your hands down in front of a professional prize fighter at this level you will get knocked out Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time, 2 minutes, 27 seconds into round number 5. Your winner by way of knockout and now the number one contender for the IBF Junior Lightweight Championship all the way from Brisbane, Australia, Robbie the Bomber! 